Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? Please, man. Oops. All right, just watched Apartment 7A, a prequel to Rosemary's Baby, which I have not. I've seen portions of it, but haven't seen it, seen it. You now with critical eyes, if you will. Uh, let me say, there's something I always hate about horror movies. It's that there's always this like malevolent force thing, whether it's like, you know, a movie with like demons in it and evil powers like that. Or like my own logic would be like, okay, there must be some sort of good force thing. And like, it's, it's never explored because they want to like stay to the genre of horror instead of like, like, shouldn't there be like a benevolent force that kind of is working with you or, or is trying to pull to the better side of the character or something, you know, to help her out, right? It's just some innocent girl who got drugged and raped, <laughs> and now she's the potential mother of some demon baby thing. And it's like, yeah, wouldn't somebody be, wouldn't God be helping out or something? If this is supposed to be some sort of evil magic demon thing, isn't there like good angel guys? I'm not saying I like that's where my belief system is. I'm just saying the logic of the movie, right? If she's going to the church and she's like, "Oh, my stomach hurts. The baby doesn't like church." Uh, that means like, okay, so they're saying Jesus is real, right? And they're saying God and Jesus are real and angels are real and shit. Like, where are they at, bro? They're just letting us go down. They're letting the, the future holy holy lord get born and shit they're not doing anything about it like fuck it <laughs> it's like what's going on here just watching from a distance like, oh shit she's fucked <laughs> hopefully she jumps out the window that always bothered me about horror movies that like hey how come we can't find something that fucks them up that beats the shit out of the demons you know it's just it's just my personal pet peeve type of thing but I get it they're trying to stay to the horror thing and if you add a force of good, it turns into too many moral questions instead of blood, gut, score, skimpy outfit, chick dying, or whatever the fuck, right? And, oh, screaming from the shower. It, it kind of kills it a bit. Fine. But still just a pet peeve of mine. Uh, for this movie, um, it, it was alright. I thought it was decent pacing. Like, like, as far as like, I I didn't feel like I was being pushed through the movie until the end when she literally falls out of a window. <laughs> but other than that, everything else was like kind of going in a nice, in a nice timely fashion. Like it's it's working together. It's not breaking my brain watching it. I'm I'm picking up what they're putting down. You know, I'm getting it. Uh, geez. I mean, the thing is with movies that are like most of it is build up. That's what this movie like. The most, the majority of the movie is build up, which I, once again I say I think that's the way they did it was was all right, right? They took this the innocent girl goes through a personal crisis where everything's going downhill, and then these all oh, these seemingly benevolent, uh, odd couple or whatever the fuck find her and help her out and. Like, oh, okay, things are looking up for her. Meanwhile, we, we know, right, as movie watchers, we know something's not right, the way the characters are acting. But obviously the girl wouldn't notice it because, you know, she's not supposed to, right? Just playing that character in the movie. Got it. Uh, but yeah, they're building it up, and they're like, oh, what's going on here? I, you could probably guess early on that there's some sort of demon cult thing happening or wannabe antichrist thing happening. <laughs> And like, everything in her life is now like controlled and managed by these people that are supposed to be kind of strangers. Not strangers, but like they're, they're not supposed to be this close to each other where they're in some sort of dark cult thing. Uh, but they're basically controlling our life. You can probably pick up on that relatively early on. And then... Jesus. I, I think the, the main character was trying to like... I don't know if she's trying to figure out what's happening to her. I guess she is. She's like, I don't know what's happening to me, and you know, we all we all know as viewers, like, oh, you're 
you're preg impregnated by some demon lord worshiper and now you have the antichrist in your belly and she's like oh but i go to church or my stomach hurts when i touch a cross my hand burns like okay got it vampire action got it uh I don't know, it's just whatever. It's like a blob movie to me. It's like, alright, whatever. Doesn't mean it's the worst thing ever. It just I was just watching it. That's it. Watching it to see how it ends. Which for me is not the greatest way to watch a movie, but it, this wasn't I thought the way they shot everything and the way the acting was and the tones of the movie, it didn't kill me it wasn't like excruciating like oh, oh my god get on with it what happens to her it didn't feel like that it just it just nice floated me through the movie and okay what's gonna happen you know what what's gonna happen at the end that that's kind of what everything before it is building up to and that's the whole point of everything before it it's just to lead you to the end and the end is she jumps to her death and i guess the demon baby's gone I guess it's done with, right? Okay, cool. I watch. I watched an hour and a half of build up to an ending where she could have. She just jumped out of a window and died, and that's it. <laughs> Unless they're planning for some sort of, you know, remake or next movie or something like that. But as far as I know, she gets impregnated by a demon baby. She jumps to her death. End of movie. That is it. Like, the movie can kind of be summed up in a couple sentences. Granted, I blabber, and I, you know, and I ramble, but it can basically be summed up as that, which means nothing special. Once again, it wasn't an eyesore, right? I wasn't, you know, getting, I wasn't wrecked watching the movie. It just floated by, and now it's over, and now I'll probably forget this movie. <laughs> you know, as soon as I turn the penguin on, I'll probably forget this movie. Which sucks, you know? Like, there just wasn't enough elements to either, like, wreck me or to, like, absolutely make me entrenched in it. Like, fuck, I need to see this again and get all the little details. Like, man, they're saying something about, you know, the world. The most they said was, like, oh, uh, oh, a. Satan worshippers get treated poorly by the public. Like these guys are like they're like civil rights leaders or something for the devil or something. Like oh, we we get we get a bad rap, you know. People people treat us like crap just because we you know worship the devil. Like what? It's like okay, bud. But like that was I guess the motive, part of the motive of these guys, the 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 devil cult. They didn't make it as grand either, right? Like. Eyes Wide Shut makes you think Tom Cruise's entire world is entrenched in this. This movie made it feel like just the other tenants in her apartment. <laughs> or the other people that lived in the same building are just a part of it. And like, that's it. Once she leaves that place, like, no one else is like in, in that shit like that. Uh, oh, shit. There was one fucking eyesore, ear sore thing, and that was the fucking nun. When when the girl goes to the church, when Terry goes to the church, she's like, oh, my stomach, oh, it hurts. And then she gives, like, a little backstory to the nun. And I was like, oh, those people, oh, they are devil worshippers. And blah, blah. like, she explains the entire thing. <laughs> like, so the, the whole cult thing is not really a reveal. All right? It's just the writers basically made this nun character explain what was happening, which is just like, eh. Not like I was, like being tricked by anything anyways it's just like oh it's a devil cult thing got it uh but yeah that was pretty that was a pretty that was a decent eyesore <laughs> that's <laughs> this lady just explains everything and just randomly in the middle of the movie this lady we haven't seen before and don't see after <laughs> she explained the whole fucking thing that's happening to this girl this is like dude like yeah we know already or we're basically seeing it play out anyways I, it is what it is. It just, it just smells. It reeks of mediocrity, bro. That's what this movie is. It's just, it's blah. It's whatever. So, 
do I recommend? I mean, if you exhausted all options and you're looking for a horror movie with some with a, a pretty good actress, right? Sure, I guess I recommend. Or if you're a fan of Rosemary's Baby, you want to see like a new kind of a newer version of it. Sure, go ahead. But if you're like, eh, I don't need to see, you know, if, if you're not like desperate to watch a movie or desperate to watch like a, a horror movie thing, like I wouldn't recommend. I, it is what it is. <laughs> There's water in the well. Use that water, man. The well's dry. Maybe you watch this. That's all I'll say. But me personally, I'd be like, there's no real reason to watch it. Other than maybe some decent acting and this Halloween season shit. Fine. Uh, enjoy it. My score? Fuck. Uh... <laughs> I want to say I'm going to give it a 6.9. Yes, a very lovely number, 6-9. Uh, I'm going to give it that score and just say it's a... Uh, but it's just like a flat 6.9. It's just like, eh. All right, it's not overly bad. It's not definitely not in the good category. It's just whatever, you know? Anyone else want to say anything before I end this review? No? Summed it up. Oh, I just blabbered for 10 straight minutes. But hey. Yeah, what else is there to say? Yeah. Jordan's got a Jordan, you know. So, there you have it. Apartment 7A. What's the girl's name? Julia Gardner. There you go. I like her as mm -hmm. an actress. I like her. I think she's she has talent. But this movie's not going to overly showcase that. She's just going to play her role. And the movie's such a blah. And it's like, eh, whatever. I'm sure there are people that will find it find it excellent, but they're probably in the the you know uh, the horror in the Halloween spirit, if you will. Like they're in that vibe to where they can and you know, they get a thrill out of this shit. But me, I don't. It is what it is. All right, there's a review for Apartment Seven A.